Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Flores Watch, uh, the series that we have on this channel where we talk about Marcelo Flores, um, Arsenal's Mexican player in the youth system and his career. Uh, so I'm pretty much sure everyone in the entire world knows by now that it's been announced that he's going on loan. Um, he's going to Spanish second division club Real Oviedo and um, obviously, you know, they've got new ownership, Mexican ownership. Um, so it's pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet deal. So let's go into it. So it's um, season long loan, and it does not include a, a buy option. So it's just a loan, and that's it. Um, to my understanding, he's we signed him on a three year deal in twenty twenty, um, when he signed his first professional contract. Um, and there was an option for two more years that Arsenal can activate, I think, at any time. Um, I don't know whether they've activated it before sending him out loan. No one seems to know that yet. Uh, it's just the, the loan itself that's been announced uh, by everyone. So um, I've got mixed feelings about it, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I mean, there's loads of video footage of me saying that I really thought that he was going to get at least a chance in the first team for Arsenal this season, um, especially with Arsenal having a load of cup, game, cup games now and obviously Europa League as well. Um, he had a real, real chance, in my opinion. And it's not just me being biased and being hopeful and making it up and just wishing. Um, all the journalists were saying it, um, Charles Watts... Um, uh, Daily Cannon, uh, George Bird, they all the 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 feeling from the club was that a load of the under twenty threes were going to get chances this season. Um, and that hasn't really happened. I think it's because I think Arsenal are signing more players than I think anyone really had envisaged. Um, although we haven't really signed anyone. Um, in his position, except for maybe Vieira is can be a number ten, uh, Marquinhos as well is is a bit of a wide player. So maybe those two signings in particular hurt his chances. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it hasn't panned out the way I think it looked like he was panning out. It wasn't just where what I was hoping for. It it was. Uh, coming out of the club that at least some of the U23s were going to get real chances. So, um hasn't happened. Obviously, the first thing that happened was, obviously, none of them. There was a left back, I think, or a right back, sorry. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, none of them were chosen to go to the US for their um, pre-season tour for the first team. Everyone expected, <coughs> excuse me, Flores and Hutchison to... Um, at least be involved, Patino as well. Those three in particular um, were the three that I think everyone thought that we were going to get teams and chances in the first team. Um, yeah, so that didn't happen. They, they, you know, none of them went to the US. Um, and then Hutchison, like within a couple of days after that, um, decided to up and leave and go to Chelsea, which I think is a diabolical decision. Um, maybe they are offering him more money. Maybe they had a better club to loan him out to than us did. I don't know. But that's a bad, poor decision because, you know, I can go out on limb and say, I, don't, I really don't think he's, um, my bet is that he never plays for Chelsea's first team. Unfortunately, I mean, he's a quality, quality kid. Um, and, you know, it's a shame because Chelsea just don't give chances for their youth team. Um, anyway, so he left as well. So everyone's like, hey, well, it's just Flores now. In my last video, I was saying, you know, how um, if he does decide to stay and if, you know, if he does decide to try and stay in the first team or get in the first team, um, he would have no opposition now. I mean, Hudson is basically his main rival. And, um, um, yeah, so we were kind of just waiting around for the last few days, basically just kind of just to figure out what was going to happen. We knew it was either he was going to leave out right, be sold, or he was going to go out alone, or uh, the club, or somehow announced that he's going to be a part of the first team, um, which was incredibly unlikely. As soon as the um, the US trip list came out and he wasn't on it, I was like, okay, well, that's pretty much the first team out of the picture this season. But my other worry was that he was going to stay in the under 23s. Um, not that I had much thought that he was going to go there because. The under twenty three is a stack now. 
all the youth system is stacked. They need to start. They need to get rid of players, basically. That's why they're loading a load of people out. Um, so the loan rule was the more realistic one. It was just crossing the road and going. The MLS was involved, apparently. Um, Real Oviedo was announced. Well, it was announced as a potential destination really early. <clears throat> Mainly, I think, because um, they got Mexican ownership. Um, the, well, the owners that own Real Oviedo own Pachuca, I believe. Um, or the, they own the company that owns Pachuca. I don't know quite how it works, but basically it's the Mexican affiliated club um, ownership now. So, um, yeah, there was, you know, maybe a championship side, maybe, or, you know, no one really knew. But it was announced today, well, literally probably about five-ish hours ago. Um, overall, I'm happy, really. I mean, what I've done now, what I've realised that I was working myself up over, I was getting angry about, or not angry, but annoyed a lot about was the whole guitar thing. So what I've done is I've taken guitar and I've put it to the side and I've left it alone because um, I think guitar was the thing that was winding me up about the whole Marcelo Flores thing because I, you know, I've always stated that if we wanted to go guitar, I think breaking into Arsenal's awesome first team was the best way to do it. The only realistic way he could do it, in my opinion. Um, and there are some people that think that if he does really well in Oviedo, that maybe he can still work guitar. Maybe it's possible. I mean, it is possible. You never know what Tata's going to do. But um, for me, guitar's out the window. For me, I'm just focusing on his development as a player. So I know that he's too good for the under-23s now. Which is amazing. I mean, let's just stop for a second and realise that a year ago, there's a video of me that I released at the, at the beginning of the last season where I laid out my goals, what I wanted to happen for him this season, last season just gone. And that was to get from the under-18s into the under-23s. I hadn't really gone much beyond that. I didn't really know how it was going to happen. I didn't know how he was going to do in the under-23s. So I didn't look too far beyond the under-23s. Um, he was in the under-23s for six months. I mean, over Christmas, very, very beginning of January, um, he broke into the under-23s and scored a couple of goals, I think, on his debut, if I remember rightly. Um, he's only been an under-23 player for six, it was like, just about seven months. Like, you know, and he was only in the under-18s for about a year and a half, two years. Um, he got injured uh, at the end of two seasons ago, if that makes sense. Um, so that's pretty brilliant. I mean, that's a good... Um, trajectory. I mean, add the fact that he's got his international debut, um, first team Mexico debut, which is awesome, and he's chosen Mexico as well. So he's international. That whole indecision and or the whole decision and the whole speculation and the arguments online about that has ended now, which is nice. Um, so he's had a hell of a half a year. He's had a hell of a twenty twenty two so far. So that's great, but. Um, we could not justify him being a... He's a Mexican international. He's a full international. Um, couldn't justify him going back into the 23s and playing there. Especially with Hutchinson leaving. Although Hutchinson's not going to go into the Chelsea first team. He's going to be still in Chelsea's youth system somewhere. Um, but he's probably going to go out loan as well. Um, yeah, we couldn't justify him going back to the under 23s. So, you know, the Spanish second division is a step up from the under 23s. Um, I would say, I would imagine the quality is not as bad as it could be because obviously the quality he's playing against, should I say, the defence, you know, because obviously the, the teams in the second division are in the second division for a reason. Um, but... He's playing against men. He's going to be playing against adult guys, which he hasn't really done much of um, in his life yet. So, um, yeah, he's going to learn a lot. Um, I think he's going to do well. Um, how well he does is, you know, he's an open book right now. No, it's just a guess. Um, but he's, only, he's, he's had a f f phenomenal 
trajectory so far. Um, and long may it continue. Um, so I'm quite happy. I mean, would I have rather him gone to MLS? No, not really. I mean, unless it was LAFC, but um, not really. I mean, the MLS is just, uh, nah. It's, you know, the quality is not that good. And it's, you know, you don't associate players MLS players of developing, and you know, US men's national team as will disagree. They think, oh, all their used players come from there. Well, I don't think so, but anyway, that's a whole different argument. Um, so I didn't want to go to go to the MLS, there's no point. I think U23 is as, as good as the MLS, in my opinion. So, um, definitely wants to stay in Europe. Definitely didn't want him to go back to Mexico, although I would have rather him achieve us in a heartbeat. But Mexico is a bit of a cesspit for. Um, not cesspit, should I say, um, quicksand, maybe, for Mexican players, once you're in, once you, if you're a Mexican player, once you go to Mexico, the Liga in Mexico, it's very difficult to get back out, so, um, and, you know, obviously, English clubs don't seem to be dealing directly with Liga MX clubs right now, so, the idea of Mexico, the idea of Arsenal dealing with any Liga MX clubs directly is, is a, always a bit of a long shot. Uh, so they left Europe, and um, for me, I have, I would have preferred him going to a championship club, um, because championship club championship is hard. Um, they play like I think ten, fifteen more games, than league games than um, Premier League. Um, it's tough. It's hard. It's difficult, and um, it's notoriously difficult to get out of. And I think he would have learned a lot there. But I think at the moment. <sighs> I think the idea is him playing, 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 playing. I think, I mean, I don't really know much about Rayo or Riedo, but I would imagine he's not that far off from walking into their first team, in my opinion. That's not disrespecting to them, I just, it's more respecting him because he's got the quality to do it. And he's going to thrive in Spain, you know, he's so suited to the Spain and Spanish way of playing. Um, I, he reminds me of Santi Gazzola, like I've said loads of times. Very technical, not very tall, not very powerful, but difficult to get off the ball without fouling him. Uh, low sense of gravity, um, can turn quick and, you know, he's pacey. Um, he's going to do really well in Spain, I think. Um, and yes, yeah, so the, really it's just him playing and playing against adult guys and, you know, still developing but not in the youth 23s anymore um so hopefully you know he scores a bunch of goals he assists a bunch of goals and he comes back to arsenal at the end of next season so whether they've activated the extra two years or not uh, I, I would imagine they will because at some point soon because um his contract ends when his loan ends so, I don't think Arsenal are going to want to let him go for free. And I think they want to... If I was them, if it was the smart thing to do would be to renew his contract, extend his contract for the two years that was already part of the deal. Um, and then bring him back. Well, let's see how he does this year. And if he does really well, bring him back. I still don't know whether he'll get into the first team, but he may go on the championship loan by then. Um, for now, it's just playtime and developing as well. Um, if he goes and scores 20 goals and gets 15 assists, then they go, okay, well, maybe he's good enough to be in the first team or good enough to be in a championship loan for a season. Because there is no rush. I mean, I mean, it is a bit of a rush, but there is a... I don't... I'm torn. I would love to have him in the first team next week, but um, I also think there's no rush, so... Um, yeah, I'm rambling on, so I'm just going to wrap this up. Basically, I'm happy. Um, he's going to be playing first-team football. He's going to become a first-team professional, which is great. He's going to learn. Um, you know, he's not going to be in a, in a kid environment anymore. He's going to be in an adult environment playing against adults. Um, maybe not the highest degree of talent, but he's going to be playing against adults and um, experienced players as well, so... He'll learn a lot from there. I think he'll do really well over there. And, yeah, just continuing what he's been doing so far because uh, it's been brilliant. And like I said, I could be wrong. It could be proved wrong. If he does well over there, he still could be going to Qatar. He might be going to Qatar no matter what was going to happen this season. Um, I just don't 
hold, I'm not gonna hold much hope for it. I'm not worrying about it. I'm not stressing about it. I'm not arguing about it with anyone anymore. If any, if somebody thinks that he's gonna go to Qatar, that's great. If somebody thinks that um. Arsenal are holding him back from going to Qatar, then okay, all right. And if they think that El Vigedo is going to get him into the Qatar squad, so that's cool. I know I'm not really phrased by that argument at all anymore. Um, for me, it's just developing the player, um, getting him first team football, getting him experience, and then bringing him back into Arsenal and see what happens at the end of next season. But um, yes, just want to let you guys know that I am keeping this series going. He's still an Arsenal player. Um, if it's left. Permanently, I, I would have stopped because um, same reason I don't do a series on Silvana or Tatiana because they're not part of Arsenal anymore. Um, but yeah, he's still part of Arsenal. He's, he's owned by Arsenal. Um, he's under contract at Arsenal still, at least for this year, but I think he's probably going to be another couple of years on top. Um, so yeah, Lone Watch, Lone Watch, Flores Watch, whatever you want to call it, it's still going to, still going to continue. And... Um, Probably not going to be telling you anything that you already don't know. I mean, the first year or so, year and a half, two years of this series, maybe you didn't know stuff that I was talking about and you learned something from it. But now it's, like I said before, it's changing into what my opinion is and um, what I think is going to happen and why I think this has happened and blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, I hope you still guys, I hope you guys still get something out of these videos because I like doing them. I've, I mean, the, I'm in a good habit of doing them now. Cause, you know, I've been doing Flores Watch videos now for a couple of years. So, um, yeah, um, thanks for watching again, guys. Thanks for coming back all the time. I really appreciate it. Give a comment below what you think about the move. Um, do you think he should have gone to another team? Do you think he should have stayed at Arsenal? Um, we'll have a discussion about it. I don't want to argue. <laughs> I'm done arguing about Flores, to be honest with you. But we'll have a discussion for sure. So, um yeah, I'm not going back to sleep now because I'm tired. It's 7, 8 a.m. And I've done a night shift and I'm tired, so I'm going to go back to bed. Um, so, yeah, thanks, guys. Um, take it easy, and I'll see you guys for... Um, I don't think there's going to be any more news now until... Maybe if the... Um, sorry, if they announce that the contract's been extended, I might do a video on that. But otherwise, I'll probably wait until he has his first league game. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that. So... Take it easy guys, I'll be back relatively soon with another video and uh, take it easy, have a good day and uh, see you guys soon. Adios.